I, for one, am happy about this. I'm not happy that people are over there dying, but I'm happy that we that this could lead to a nuclear war. I'm happy about it. The reason I'm happy is because I, I like feeling like I could be dead very soon. There's a certain liberating feeling, you know. When I used to talk about suicide, and I always liked to, and I think I talked about that because I like to remind myself, hey, you can just be out of here at any time. You can kill yourself. You, you're going to be dead. You could do it any time you want and be dead. So what do you, what's the problem? What are you worried about? And I used to always have this funny story I would tell, joke thing I would tell about how you should just decide to kill yourself. Feel like, wow, if I'm going to kill myself, I'm totally free now. I am free. Wow, you know, I'm going to live my dreams. I'm going to go out. I'm going to do what I said I was going to do. I'm going to go out there. I'm going to ask for that loan. I'm going to ask for her number. God damn it. I'm going to hike that mountain. I'm going to get that job. And then if I don't, I'll kill myself. That's fine. I'll just kill myself. What's the worst that happened? If she says no, I'll, you know, if I ask for her number, she says, you know what? I'm not interested or I have a boyfriend. I'll say no problem. And I'll go up to the top of a parking structure and kill myself. I'm looking out this little window right now. All right, in the garage here, and I'm just imagining like a big flash right there happening, just psh, blinding flash of a nuclear bomb blowing up. And 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 luckily I'm behind this aluminum door, so I'll be okay. But imagine, imagining that, and just thinking, what if that were to happen? Wouldn't that be crazy? And that I guess that's conceivable in the, in the near future. That's not. That's not outside the realm of possibility right now that could happen we could be nuked right if israel let's say israel goes into gaza they start killing all the arab world is pissed off They're like bullshit man fucking bullshit start shooting rockets in there shoot some missiles. blow up that building kill them too and then uh, and then netanyahu seems like a perfectly sane guy right he'll nuke uh Iran, he'll nuke Lebanon, right? And then there, then it's then it's on, right? Then Russia starts nuking us. They nuke in Washington D.C. They're nuking Los Angeles. They're nuking uh, Bismarck, North Dakota. They're nuking Miami. They're nuking all these different places. Maybe not Bismarck, North Dakota. <laughs> Could you, can you imagine if it, being in Bismarck, North Dakota, and be like, well, at least we're not gonna get nuked. Oh shit! What the fuck? <laughs> It'll happen right there. Right there. That palm tree will just be that palm tree. Will just, the silhouette of that palm tree will be black, and all of a sudden the palm tree will just blast downward, right? And then I'll be protected, of course, by this. But but what about the rest of those people? They're all dead. Doesn't it? Doesn't that just make you want to just drink life? Oh, just take a big swig of life. Come here, life, and rip the top off. Throw the bottle cap away, because you're not going to need it again. You're just going to drink the whole fucking bottle of life. And you're going to swallow the worm. That's some good life. God, that's good life. Doesn't it sound more simpler than it is? You're like, yeah, I want to drink some life! What's that mean? I mean? What the fuck does that even mean? Where do I acquire it? Do they sell it at Savon? How do you sell life? You know? Okay. You know where they might sell a big bottle of life? I'm looking for like a, a an entire handle of life. You don't know? Oh. The point is, I, I try to get a sense of urgency when things seem shaky and the world might collapse, I like to say, okay, just enjoy, enjoy life now, because don't take it for granted. Mm. Mm. Just savor it. Mm. Taste it on your lips. You taste life on your lips. Mm. Before I had a whole bottle of life, now I just have a little on my lips. Mm. Mm. That's good life.